Hello, my name is Grant Gertler. Um, I'm going to start doing vlogs about floaters. Um, I've had floaters for about a week now. Um, yeah, um, when I, f I first woke up, I'm, I'm going to make this vlog basically. I'm going to try and help people. I'm going to try and show people that as much as it might make you feel at the beginning and even now like you can't watch TV, you can't watch a film, you can't play games, you can't go outside, you don't want to go outside, you don't, you just want to be this vegetable with your eyes shut, with the light off, with the curtains closed and hope that you get no more. Um, since I've had them, I've probably, they've probably got double the worse in seven days, both eyes. It was first my right eye. Um, what I did was, I was, on Thursday morning, I woke up, um, and then for the last couple of days, my, my eye was getting quite tired. I went downstairs, and my girlfriend was asleep upstairs, and I, uh, I left her. I thought something else, something's in my eye. It's like, what is that in my eye? Get out. And then something, I don't know what, but just something really made me realise there's something in my brain just told me this is, this is serious. This is something, this isn't just something in my eye. This is, this is something big. So I woke her up and um, to be honest, I was, I was in, I got very angry. Um, very angry. I threw at the. It's like I knew that this was something bad, and I knew it was going to change my life. Um, but what? So yeah, um, I went to the hospital, um, and they checked my eyes, and they dilated it. Took me to the hospital. Uh, the opticians in Bournemouth because I live in Dorset. Um, Took me to the hospital, dilated it, looked inside, both eyes, made me look up, down, left, right. Um, I can see him right now. Um, yeah, and he said, yep, yeah, you've got flares. Um, your brain will get used to them. Um, and I'm one of those people where, if there's something wrong with me, I worry. I worry loads, I get really depressed, I get really, you know, but the difference now I've realised, I've, I've really realised that through all those other problems that I've always looked at as life was, you know, like, oh, I have a bad stomach, I have IBS, like, oh, I never have enough time for myself, I don't have enough money, I never, oh my, you know what I mean, like, all that, it really does not matter. It really does not matter. It, I can see this 24-7. And I might not have. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I've had it for a week. Some people are like, oh, I've had it for years. You know, oh, you, you don't even understand. But the thing is, it, it, it doesn't matter. I've got this now. And that's it. You know, the, that's it. Um, but what this is going to be, is I'm going to be doing vlogs, put it on YouTube, um, oh, I don't know if something's in my eye, you know, right, because I'm so, oh, I just don't know if something's in my eye, but I'm hopefully going to be getting an FOV in my right eye, um, first, um, my left eye isn't as bad as my right eye, so I want to get that one done first, because, Obviously, that was the first time I got. It's hard to get to. Most people, I realise, I've done my research now. I've been doing hours every day. Most people really don't want to do two. Because they're like, oh, you know, you can get cataract. You, and my luck, I probably would. But you can get retinal detachment. You can do it wrong. People would rather do one and know that if they go blind in that eye, they've got the other one. Um, but I'm I'm not I'm I'm gonna go for two I'm 
definitely going to go for two. I'm really going to try and get this done because I'm not going to be able to live my life properly if I don't. I'm really not. As crazy as that sounds to people, it's truthful. Uh, I'm not really able to watch. My, my massive hobby in life is films. I'm, I'm a massive film fan. It's got me through so much in my life, you know. I used to watch a film every single day, every night when I was a child. Like I, I, I am a massive film fan, and that's, that's gone. I can tell. Um, until like, this is done. Until, uh, you know. It's gone. I would say, with my, my flows, if I look straight right now. I don't know, because it feels like I've got a new one today. Uh, a couple of hours ago, it feels like. Sorry if this is boring. But if you honestly do have floaters, I honestly do say to watch this. As much as it might be boring to you, I'm one of those people where it will get to a point and when you see me start to get this operation, and you see start these progress, I, I hope these blogs, because they're quite hard to find out there, I hope these blogs will show these doctors and these everyone out there that this is serious, this is serious. Yeah, fair enough, I'm not blind. You know, fair enough. Like, I haven't woken up and my oh, my whole vision's gone. That's yeah, I understand that. Definitely, you know. But it's 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 that kind of borderline, it's on the borderline, it's like Am I okay? No, I'm I'm oh no, I'm blind, no, it's got I can't watch TV, I can't do this. But I can still see colour, you know what I mean? It, it's so borderline ish. Um people don't really understand but um yeah I'm, I'm gonna be getting the operation hopefully my mum's gonna be taking me to the doctors on Tuesday and we're gonna plead because the thing is I wouldn't be able to drive with this I wouldn't be able to drive I want to be a firefighter I wouldn't be able to be a firefighter with this so it's changed my life it's 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 made my life it's changed it so, we're going to try and, um, hopefully the NHS will do it. Um, if they don't, I, I honestly don't understand. But the only reason I would think they wouldn't is because they look at it as... It's not pain. It's just... Oh, but you, you don't have any pain. But... So the thing I've realised in life is emotional pain is huge. Emotional pain can get so strong that it hurts phys physically. And uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll cut this short. I've got about two minutes left in this video. Um, so yeah, what happened with me? So Thursday I went to opticians, found out I got floaters. You're going to have to live with it. Realised I'm not going to be able to live with this. Um... I went down a massive spiral of depression. Um, I tried to commit suicide. Um, I've been suicidal before. I've had depression before. Uh, I had to think of body dysmorphia as well. Um, but this has made me realise that uh, I, I shouldn't have that anymore. It's changed that. Um, yeah, um, so I was trying to get used to it. Um, I've been trying to take these. Because I thought I've heard that they can help. I've been trying to drink orange juice, um, all that. Um, yeah, so I went to hospital A and E because I start my eye started to feel like it was puffing up. I don't know if anyone else with this has had that, but it felt like my eye was puffing up. So we went to A and E with my girlfriend, um, and he just went five hours in there. He goes, "Oh, you might have gone coma." I'm like, "What?" He's like, yeah, I might have got a coma. And I'm like, right. So I leave. Get about two hours sleep. Find out I don't have glycoma. I'm very thankful. I appreciate that a hell of a lot. Very happy to know that I don't have glycoma. Um, uh, went into shock the next, not the next morning, the next morning after that. Went into shock. Um, I lost the feel of my right arm um, and it felt like my head was on fire so the ambulance came 
feel my body was so stressed that it went into shock. Oh, it's got ten minutes. I'm sorry. I hope you are watching this, and I hope that you know, like, please don't stop because as much as it might sound boring, you might be like, oh, have a look at the other videos. He edited it right. Yeah, I am getting to a point. I promise. Like, just, just this is what a week of this illness is. This is what someone of a week, you know. Um, but I'm going to try and make this in my life. My life goal to show you people who have it right now I mean, that person is on youtube right now and he's scared or she's scared and really don't know what to do and i'm trying to tell you you know i i, I suffer with anxiety depression and you can do this life has given you something and it's given you a very hard challenge but you can do this if i can do it you can do it and you honestly can because you got to fight and show people that no matter what, you can live through these these crazy things that happen to you. Um, you, you really honestly can. You you can you can get through it. Um, you know, I'm not nowhere near like I start my new job the day before. I, I can't wait. Really, oh yeah, you you work at Empire. Oh, I'm so happy. I couldn't wait. Next day, I wake up. Yes, that's life. His life. Um, so yeah, I will be getting the FOV hopefully um, on my right eye first. Um, my left eye is getting every day worse. So hopefully, the, what I think they're going to do. You've already got one good vision, so why would we do on the other one? And I could go blind both eyes, but like I said, I will go for both. Um, but I'll keep you updated. Uh, I hope this does help, help someone. Um, I find it very hard to find someone in England. There's this one guy, and I don't know what his name is. And maybe if he watches this, or if anybody does even watch this, but he he sounded very depressed. He had it for eight months. He was wearing glasses. He said he had a daughter. Um, and he got it from when his wife was in hospital and everything. But, and he had the YAG. He had the laser. And I would not go for the laser. All I've heard is bad things from the laser. Everyone's, oh, it's, you know. It, it really can fuck it up um, but I, I feel sorry for you mate uh, I think this is your first feeling of depression I think this is your um, your you know your your first fucking years of depression you get better you keep strong um, you can leave the house as much as you don't think you can oh, I have an ear cord I'm sorry but can all right um but yeah i will keep you updated i will hopefully have a video of me just before if i'm gonna have the operation just before i go to the doctors just before everything just before bad news good news all of that shit um but yeah one thing i have found that really helps is if you if you really want to watch tv or something like that Find, find a podcast, find something like that, and put your headphones in, and just lie there and listen to the podcast, because your imagination, sometimes you forget, sometimes people really forget what their imagination can do, and when you listen to that podcast, you can see it all, it's all crystal clear, you know, but yeah, uh, that's me for today, I'll probably do another one in a couple of days, or tomorrow, I don't know. Give me feedback. Talk to me. Um, I'm very hard to talk to. I'm very like, Ugh. but yeah, talk to me. Um, my name's Grant Kirkland. I live in Dorset, um, and I'm going to fight this. And I'm going to show you all that you can do it too, and show that you need to really find something to do to sort this one out. It's better than we do. Cause they Alright, well, peace out, I hope you guys keep strong, and see you in a bit. All my photos are going crazy right now, I can't wait.